20 dollars. You're still getting your 20 20 percent tip, yeah. yeah. Because I'm just not a dick. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been dicking a lot of other ways, but not that way. Are we ready? Oh, yeah, let's do it. You ready? Okay. Oh, well, heck, I guess we just got, we just rolled into that. Shroop. <laughs> Here we go. Today, our cards are sneaking pictures in public, men that don't pay on dates ever, and dysfunctional family functions. Whew. So what do you want to start with first? Well, I am not picky at all <laughs> but since i said picky uh -huh. i think we should start with the picks piece and i think you need to go first because you have a history of this esther <laughs> sneaking so pictures. esther and it could just be me because apparently i always am the one who gets um Esther has a hollow leg where she puts the alcohol. I'm convinced. <laughs> I don't know where it goes, but we, her and I can start at the same time. We can eat the same thing. We can drink the same thing. And Esther is like perfectly fine. And meanwhile, I'm half dead. Um, and just a sloppy, disastrous mess. Um, I tried to avoid that because um, I was told by my husband not too long ago, he's like, Jeez, you're older than everyone. You're supposed to be a role model. And I'm oh thinking to myself, God. I don't remember anyone asking me that. So I'm not going to step into a role that, you know, wasn't <laughs> oh, asked of that. me. Like, I feel like that's not my role. Legit. But when I get to those points, Esther and another one of our friends likes to take pictures <laughs> of me that I am unaware of. And then what they will do later. You're aware, but so you're unaware. I don't remember like, like, most of them. Exactly. You don't remember. So those count to me as unaware. But then they will blow the picture up where my face is like all distorted and then send it to me days or months later. And I am like, what is this? And then just drop off the face of the earth. Yes. And not even respond to the text. And I'm left wondering like, oh, my god where did this come from and that is why i will always be friends with them because they have too much blackmail on me but yeah esther is notorious for that piece I do. but her I've, favorite yeah. type of photos are what ones uh my friends sleeping yes <laughs> i was not even friends like i've taken Just pictures random of random people, people sleeping, sleeping. <laughs> esther and we don't know Everybody why looks so they look so peaceful some people look peaceful. Some people look deranged. The one photo that you have of me sleeping, I look deranged. Like, my mouth is open. I'm, like, passed out. Like, I look like someone, like, just beat me and, like, just That's slumped great, me in a corner. Though. Like, <laughs> you're and tired. I was so tired. It was, I was so tired. And you guys are like, don't go to sleep. And I'm like, I'm not. I'm just not. Everybody's like, I'm don't go to here. sleep around Esther. But y'all do. I know. Well, and and Esther, what? Esther just sits there, like, <laughs> waiting. Like, a creep in the corner, like, like, oh, I can't wait. I'm about to get this pick. And then she, I'm telling you, she's got like a whole album like, of I people do. sleeping. I have like my old, when I worked at uh, the out at the landings, the old uh, cleaning lady. Oh my God. Just like, well, how many she of those do you have? <laughs> like two of those. It's really good though. They're two really great ones though because she slept angry oh she was an angry sleeper she was angry oh, she's as cleaning book. up stuff right and yeah. she's tired she's cleaning up after assholes so i would be fucking pissed and tired too mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then having me click photos of you <laughs> right exactly i mean i wonder how many people would just be like what the you know what would be funny is if one day we went through the album, tried to label them, and uh -huh. then found their contact info, and then creepily <laughs> sent them like anonymously <laughs> these photos of them sleeping. It would be like creep factor to like the nth degree. I need to just like start a Instagram of people people sleeping. sleeping. Oh my gosh, you should. It'll be like people sleeping slash people's ass cracks. Oh yes, that's because, another. <laughs> well, I'm guilty of those because I. I notice people's butt cheeks. Apparently, I'm quite honed in on the asses when we go out because I'm always like, wait, did you see that? Hold on. Like, and I'm always like, guys, 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 guys. Look, 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 look. Like, and I'll say it like 14 times. And I'm like, oh my God, okay, okay, we see it. And I'm like, I'm like, look, try to get, but I am the worst person to take a picture. So I usually hand the phone to you. Like, I swear I do this all the time because I am the worst, like, creepy picture taker person. I am always like really obvious with it or I have the volume up and it's like, extra click like and, 
and then they turn around and are like, did you just, and I'm like, what? No, huh? What? It wasn't of you. Squirrel. Ew. Like, you know, I'm like, hold on. Did you, someone's talking to me, like, and I'll just walk away. But yeah, I have random butt cheeks on, like, my photo, too. Like, at our friend Rhonda's baby shower. Oh, her last one. Oh, my God. I forgot her about this. Her sister is notorious for always having her oh, ass crack out. Like, I, pro- I have more, like, yes, those than anybody mental else's. pictures of her ass crack because I didn't have a good phone then. But at the baby shower, I sure do. I saw oh. the picture, <laughs> and she was sitting in front of us, and me and Which, Rachel fucking going nuts in the corner of the room like we, fucking idiots. Yes, we should have been kicked out of the baby shower. So kicked I out, because we're I know giggling. she wanted to kick us out, because we're like, everyone, it's this calm, peaceful, She's there's opening older presents. people there, she's opening presents, and the two of us are in the corner, corner sipping sangria, cutting up, being a bunch of boneheads. Heads, oh, and then taking pictures, taking of, pictures of butt crack <laughs> and I mean it wasn't just a little it had to have been a good oh, like man, six inches of crack it was like half her ass yeah and then out. remember I told you I was like hey text that to her husband we texted <laughs> who was standing next to us, right? So he's standing next to us, and we, Esther, sends it to him. And so then the two of us are sitting there, and you we're know We're looking at him. We're <laughs> waiting for him to open. Waiting, we're like, open we're the shit. We're waiting for the text the to come in. And we see him get the text, and the two of our eyes are like saucers, because we're like, oh, here it's going down, yes. and we can't wait for the reaction. But of course, you know, he's so cool, calm, and collected. He just looks at us like, you two idiots. He looks at us, looks Which, at Amber's ass crack and looks back at us and like, just like shakes his head big morons and so the two of us of course like are We're losing dying. it even worse <laughs> and like to the point where everyone is looking at us and our poor friend is sitting up there opening presents oh, still, man. and we're just like, I, yeah. oh, we're so sorry. Like, we couldn't even get our lives together oh, at man. all. <laughs> we should have honestly been kicked out of that we baby shower. Been weak. <laughs> and I was just like, God, like, how like, much longer is she going to keep opening right? things? I was like, well, we have got to go outside. Like, we are not going to be able to get it together <laughs> at all. We ran all. right outside. Oh, we did. As soon as, like, she was done opening, the, like, the wrapping wasn't even all the way off the last we gift. Like, and we were like, done. <laughs> Because we were just terrible. And that's, I, I don't know. We and she has, like, the white. She's so pale. <sighs> and she has the whitest ass ever like it has never touched sun it ever. really hasn't even but though it's out all the time well, it has say. never been burnt yeah no but it's a matter of time it's a matter of time i mean it is she's a matter gonna have of time. it out at the right time now she lives in florida so Correct. yeah so she's it's a matter of time out. where that sun is gonna get that those cheeks and that's it i have a co-worker uh-oh and she has a tramp stamp okay first off i feel like we need to not talk about tramp stamps <laughs> because i'm a little sensitive about the tramp stamp Yours i got a tra- is small like hers goes Mine is from crooked hers and goes small. from haunch to haunch so okay. from back back to back well back, she have so. a big huge like big booty judy too? yeah she's okay the- <laughs> And, like, literally her scrubs never go over her ass crack. Like, whenever she sits down, she like... She needs a bigger pair of scrubs. It's like, literally, she... <laughs> I don't even know how she sits. Like, her pants are touching the chair. Like, the top of her pants are touching the chair. And her whole ass is basically up. To patients? Um, yeah, kind of, because they walk behind us. Oh, so. wow. <laughs> I know they've seen it. So there's that. Well, and you like, know what every you need time to I walk do, by, I'm just like, Shh. you need to get the hand sanitizer and just do a little just squirt. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, oh my gosh, and ours I'm is foam. so sorry. Ours is like foam sanitizer, Maybe you need too. the liquid just one, though, because I feel wild. like, that. well, right, so you like fumble, you create a fumble, and yeah. it's just an accidental, on purpose fumble right down the crack of those pants. This, I bet she'll pull them up next time. Well, this uh, older lady that works at the office like, was like, I love that tattoo, but, you know, you just need to cover it up because of the patience. Well, that and was I very. She died. has so much. I don't have that much. I don't, I don't, does I it come just, like, with age she's so and being attacked? Because I don't know if I'll ever have that. I, I might don't be know. like crack kills. So one of my girls. I mean, she's the same bitch that says I I can't wait until it's Friday 
And then when it's Friday, literally for eight fucking hours, I hear that it's Friday. I'm well, just like, I'm going to slit your throat, bitch. Well, then shove hand sanitizer down her Fuck pants. Fuck your Friday! <laughs> hey, shove the hand sanitizer down her pants, man. I would just honestly accidentally on purpose do it. So we used to have, Maybe. when I was a petroleum distribution engineer, holla, oh. gas station manager, um, <laughs> I, we had this, we had one bathroom, and there was this guy, he was a swans dealer, you know, like the yellow truck and delivering like the swans like frozen food and stuff he would come in every day around like 11 mm-hmm. and we only had like one bathroom and Ooh, he always had his crack out. It up. Oh, <laughs> oh he had his ass crack out well too. his ass crack was always out and then he would go before, in and blow after. it up oh, okay oh, before, so before after, like, his it ass just, was ready it was it's like, like breathing now those, it's like correct <sighs> And before was, we go in right and i was just like i saw i would see him coming it was like 11 o'clock and so you know sometimes i'd be on the register and i'd be like oh god so i would be like quick go in there to like one of the cashiers to, yeah you had to clean it up right well i mean he like, wasn't bro. dirty he was oh, just, it was just stink. i mean it was stank you know he waited all day for that shit <laughs> well and like, not only that he would take place. the newspaper of the day and oh, go in there so with you it know. so he would be in there and i would be like yes we all knew what was going down well one day this is why i was a terrible terrible um manager just <laughs> fyi like there so one day i decided i had had enough i don't know what snapped in me that day it could be just who mm-hmm. knows it might have been the weather i don't know maybe i saw his truck coming and i was like oh that's it you know what i'm done with him mm-hmm. so i let him go in there i let him get the newspaper I let him get settled in then i went and i got the air freshener off the shelf <laughs> And I went and just bombed that mug from, from the crack of the door. I mean, I must have sprayed till that can was almost empty. And he was in there yelling. <laughs> but I did not care. I just was like, and it was like that apple cinnamon one. So you know that one is strong. But I just stood down and I was like, and just sprayed that entire thing. Because I was like, done. Yeah. And so, you know, he comes barreling out about 10 minutes later, smelling like an apple orchard. <laughs> and like he rolled an applesauce. Were you like, delicious. And I was just like, hey. And he was like, did you do that? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And he was like, I know you did it, Rachel. You're like the meanest SOB I've ever met. And I was like, yeah. I said, put it in the comment box. Because, you know, I would just encourage people to put stuff in the comment box. Right. And then like. Then I would pull them out and frame exactly. them because I didn't care. Like all the comments were like, "Fire Rachel, she's horrible," and I would be like, "Oh, you guys are so Whoops, cute." And then I would just frame them because exactly. like that's how much I didn't care. Like I said, I was a wh- and it was a small town gas station. I like tortured these people. I was at a damn party when I moved. Well, he like, tortured the, you. Like you have to right. smell that. Well, I mean, and his crack was always out. And then he would like. I mean, it was just. It was a mess. It was a mess. So I mean, sometimes you have to extract your own revenge legit but i like my daughter my oldest bless mm-hmm. her sweet soul it could be the way she's built at this point but she doesn't have much of a butt but it's something about the pants or something she mm-hmm. might be long-legged or something long-legged right. legged legged english is my first language <laughs> um and you can't tell um so but i'm always like naomi crack kills and it's getting to the point where like her brother and sister just start giving her wedgies like they just re- i mean when they see her crack they just reach down up in that mess and she's like you know she's 13 she's like mom right i was like listen nobody wants to see it man. i mean you either need longer shirts or fucking like, or you, high waist pants i don't know g- how about you give those pants that are two sizes too exactly. small for you like i already you... told you to your sister mm who might be a quite a bit shorter than you, but she'll figure it out. Like, <laughs> you give them to your sister and quit right. playing and put on the pants that I bought you. And she's like, I, those don't fit yet. I said, no, they do they fit. They fit, not you're how just you want correct. them. They're not skin tight. I'm mm-hmm. like, listen, if your butt crack is hanging out, it's not a cute look. And she's like, well, yours sometimes hangs out. And I was like, listen, we're not going to talk about me. And in my defense, my ass does sometimes hang out. Like, I am always having to be conscientious mm-hmm. about my own ass crack hanging out because I got a big old bedunk. Exactly. And they don't really make uh, no, jeans they don't. Or I mean, but, well, okay, that. so they still make apple bottoms or whatever, right? Which I guess you can still get those. Did you know. wear those? I mean, when they were in hell the height, no, I was poor. Oh. I worked as a pe- petroleum distribution engineer. They didn't pay very much, and clearly, they didn't like me very much, so I didn't stay long. 
No, I was poor. I couldn't afford that mess. Like, I don't know because I, I never. Super, no, but I mean, I tried them on later when mm-hmm. they were no longer in fashion, and I guess they kind of worked. But like, I went and I bought some <laughs> pants from Fashion Nova, which mm-hmm. are really cute, and I like them. But I'm short, mm-hmm. and I've had three kids, and I don't like high waisted pants. And all of these pants about went up to right under my titties, <laughs> and I was just like. I'm not trying to listen. I need to cover you my go, ass old crack. Korean grandma. Correct. I, I'm trying to cover my ass crack. I'm also, but I'm also not trying to tuck my titties. So I'm like, and I swear to God to you, I looked at these inseams out. Uh-huh. So I'm like measuring them, and I'm like, okay, clearly a nine uh-huh. inch inseam is too long. I was like, so let yeah. me get a seven. Uh-huh. And the seven was fine, but they only had like four or five pairs on there. So I'm mm. like, God, my options are really limited. Right. So the seven was fine. Like, I have to get a seven inch, like, inseam from like right. the crotch to <laughs> where the waistband or whatever. Right. But everything else, there were some that were like 12 inch. And I'm thinking, 12, 12 a inches? Foot? I think my whole stomach is a freaking foot. Like, literally, I would tuck my titty in, wrap a belt around my titty. Exactly. And put, Boom. Like, I mean, it was just. You would, it would be a dress. It was it'd much. Be a it was pant a suit. pant dress. Pant dress, a pant dress. Pa- jean. I don't know what you would call that. I what know. I call it is a holy fashion disaster. <laughs> like at that point, I'm like crack kills, and I'm showing mine. Like take a picture all you Legit. want because whatever else I have on is just <laughs> messy. It is a, a jean disaster. <laughs> I just, I mean, I don't know. It, it, I'll. I would actually rather see that than see like a giant like camel toe though. Oh, although shit. that I take pictures of those. Those are those are rough. Those, when you see, I it, don't it's just understand like, when women stopped like wearing shirts. Like okay, so if you're got on leggings, okay, and you have a suspicion <laughs> that you may get a camel toe, <laughs> which pretty much. Most women get a camel uh, right. toe, okay? Like it happens, ladies. Yes. Don't think your it's vagina's gold Reggie. is not gonna not happen. She's just like, gonna be flat and never like eat a little bit. I mean, yeah, right. We're, and that, I mean, if, I guess if you're never moving, they did have that camel toe stopper thing. They did, which that was, was weird a as weird hell. Too. Like, yeah. why are you gonna wear that and underwear? Like, this is and, yeah. and just give yourself a really poochy vagina, like it's right. a very puffy just, thing. I'm not really sure, but like, get your shirt to cover at least at the least. budget. Like, I mean, unless, well, you know what? Watch. So Crocs came back. Those high waisted diaper jeans came back, <laughs> and now camel toe is Yay. gonna make a return. <laughs> I will not be showing mine. I will not. Okay. Um, I mean, not on purpose. <laughs> I guess if it's gonna be like my crack, then I guess I'll accidentally like, show whoop. my camel toe. <laughs> Oh man, should we add that to our little archives of pictures? It might be. I mean, I'm sure there's pictures in there of like, I know I have pictures because I saw this one one time when I was in Walmart and uh-huh. I remember it because it was like so traumatic to me because I was like, <laughs> holy hell, I this woman might need help. Mm. Like, because that camel toe was so damn deep and long. Ooh. I was afraid Ooh. something was lost in it. She might because just have long labia. It just, it. It ate. It feasted that day. It was like a six-inch camel toe, and it was in purple spandex. And like I, I remember thinking it looked so painful, and I was like, I almost wanted to go up and just help her with it. And I was like, I I pull him down a little bit. Just just like let me tweeze, like get two tweezers on the side. My little tongs. Just be like, baby, baby. Like, can you? Your pussy eating. Like, correct. Something is hungry. You need to feed that. Something purple. <laughs> Barney's pur- hungry, it's a, hungry down it's a there. purple, like, people eater or something. <laughs> something is happening. Something is Your ready to get out. vagina is <laughs> in it. It was, it was a lot. She just wanted, you know, maybe she was flaunting. Maybe she was looking for somebody that's into long uh, lady. I mean, she was in Walmart. Hey. So those were exactly. her people with whatever she was doing at that moment because that was definitely. She's like, yo, she might be advertising. So realistically, I think our pictures could totally end up on that People of Walmart page. Oh, man, I used to love that website Me too, so much. Me too, because my in a while. old work never blocked it. So everything yes, else was exactly. blocked because it was like, so that was like the one, like, yeah. 
entertainment <laughs> piece I could go on, and I would be on there for like days looking yeah. at the states that I had lived in, oh and I would god. be like, oh my gosh, yes, I've seen that person before. Mm-hmm. I'm like, and then I'm just, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, holy how <laughs> just sometimes i'd be like how and then i would have to call over a co-worker and they'd be like you know you're supposed to be working and i'd be like <laughs> right. okay just look at this I, picture i just need someone else to confirm <laughs> that my eyes and the I internet are not lying to me does that lady have like a whole poodle of like you know on her head i'm very confused or like the dudes that would wear um like heels yes, and the, the stilettos. Tight, yeah, mm-hmm. the little tight, tight, tight uh, yep. pantyhoses and stuff. It's like, okay. I mean, do you? Do you? Do you but, but it looks uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. So when very. I worked as a petroleum distribution engineer, <laughs> listen, <laughs> if you are a gas station manager, <laughs> please put that on your resume. I promise you, you will get better jobs <laughs> instead. But, um, when I worked there, we had one family that was very different um, and very progressive, I, especially for where I lived. Um, mm-hmm. The father, so the mother had alopecia, okay. um, and so she was losing a lot of her hair, yeah. um, and she wore, like, the long Presbyterian jean skirts, mm-hmm. and they had two teenage um, kids, a son and a daughter, and one of them was, like, goth, and the other one was, like, uber-religious. Oh, wow. And then the father was a cross-dresser. So he was, um, he would keep his full man face, Uh like, and wear, like, his stubble and everything, but Mm -hmm. then sometimes put on makeup, but he would wear women's clothes. Women's clothes, yeah. And just come in, and I remember, because this was early 2000s. Right. In the middle of, like, you know, small town Michigan, and Mm -hmm. where it's not accepted and not normal, but they would just come in, and, you know, I would just be like, okay well do you you know I've always been really accepting but I just remember thinking how brave and how you know cool that like this community has embraced this family that is so clearly different I wonder how they're doing now we should look them up well I never remembered their names but I remember he was one day talking to me about the struggle to find heels because he Mm -hmm. wore like a size 12 and a half in men's and you know the internet for shopping was not popping at that point in time yeah oh my god if only these kids knew (laughs) right the struggle before amazon and when ebay was still shit well that's shit now but so that's where he was basically having to resort to and he was like man it's hard when you got to pay like 80 plus dollars for a pair of like used like mm. shoes because they were before craigslist too exactly it was crazy but yeah ass crack i never tried to sneak a picture of him because you know that would have required me to get out a digital camera i was about to say what like, would that camera look out? like oh so you know that would have never worked <laughs> back see kids don't know the struggle man now you can capture the camera anything. comes with the phone and right shit. that's before you, you had to have, have to both carry. yes exactly uh-huh man at least you didn't have to develop the film, though. I was still developing film I at that point. I still have film I that have has not film been role. developed, and, and I'm I, scared because I don't know what too, the fuck is on there. I <laughs> almost guarantee you that whatever is on there, uh-huh. well, I bet you whatever is on there is in a place where it's not now. That's all I got to say. I bet there's like some 23 year old titties on there that are not. <laughs> Like the thirty plus year old titties I got now. Like I might we almost develop that. that film and just to be like, yes, we should look do at that. These. We should do that. We should develop those films because oh. I have like four roles. Oh my god, we should. Oh, but you know what? I don't even know what if who develops them. Well, I think you can still get them developed at like CVS. But like oh. so, but the thing is, is we're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to pay like a random person to drop that shit off, so that way if something terrible is on it, we don't right. go to jail. Like we need like that like one guy hoes. who stands on the corner over here and Just is like, like, "We'll do dirty deeds for right. cash." Exactly. We're gonna have you. to pay that guy Come to drop here. that off, and then just be like, "You can't look at the pictures though," like because you know then he's gonna be extra creepy. 
But yeah, I'm not putting my name on it. <laughs> I, it's putting... totally getting an alias. They're going to ask for an ID, and I'm going to be like, oh, Meh. you know, it's just film, and I don't just, really, like, just, we're going to be extra give suspicious. give it to us, right? There. I know, just, I mean, come on, who else is asking for these pictures? Right? Just give me the goddamn pictures. Right, well, that, no one, and that's why we'll be instantly <laughs> flagged on, like, the FBI radar. These two I'm bitches. Like, these hoes. Why? Mm. Mm-hmm. And then they'll mm-hmm. be like, these, these pictures? T- these mm-hmm. are not your breasts, ma'am. These must be a younger. And I will be like, no, listen, they Look. are can cans. <laughs> Previous episode. Same nips. Uh-huh. Same areolas. That's Look. right. That's Proof. right. Proof. And I, and I have proof, sir. I talked about it. You, oh, you don't follow our uh, podcast? podcast? Boom. Well, you're, you're, I'm going to need you to listen to this then, sir. Instant plug. He'll be like, ma'am, I need you to get in the back, back of my... Up. I need you to step out of the car. <laughs> right. Put your hands behind no. your back. He'll be like, no. No, they said what this will happen. Hopefully, you'll be taking a picture of that. No, or video definitely. <laughs> for blackmail or for like... Both. Okay, good. Either. Well, right, it's going to end badly. This is going to end badly. Maybe... We, like I said, we need to bribe someone. Mm, yeah. yeah. We, can, we can bribe some off the street people. We can do for sure. make Ashley do it. Yeah, yeah. Ashley will fall for She'll it. She'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ashley. We love you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to just steal you away for like 10 minutes. Get yeah, just go How in long there. do the. An hour? Film? An hour. You know okay, so we're still in here away. Walmart will do anything. They still do film I shit. Think so. oh, man. I don't know. We're going to have to research this. Let us know if you know. Somebody's got to. Let us know if you know. I think I saw it at Walgreens, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been in there That in whole forever. picture thing like scares me. Like The whole picture like, thing. What is going to be Ew. on there? I know. But I'm like so curious and I need exactly. to know. I need I don't even remember. to know. Mm. 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 All right. <sighs> Let's talk about men's who don't mans. pay for pictures or anything ever. That don't pay <laughs> their ways. <sighs> All right. So this topic came up because I have a friend who is dating. Actually, I have lots of friends who mm-hmm. are dating, and you know they don't mind splitting right bills and things like that, or splitting the date mm-hmm. and going from there. But they were having a conversation about this, um, and it kind of got to the point where it was like, okay, so let me get this straight. So you want me to, like, pay for all of this stuff, but then you also want me to be, like, in the kitchen, mm-hmm. cooking your meals, doing <laughs> all of these other things, and what am I getting in return? Mm. And so it was just kind of like, what happened to chivalry? Mm-hmm. And I was like, girl, <laughs> I was like, what you need to do is go meet his mama and mm-hmm. slap the hell out of her because she is <laughs> she the one who did right. shit wrong. I was like, and then leave his ass. Just go be like, oh, I can't wait to meet your mama. Walk in there, slap the hell out of her and then do a grand ass you action. So I was like, better. right. And then just be like, you are shit, sir. And you, <laughs> ma'am, suck too. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Uh, they will remember you forever. Mm-hmm. And don't even give them any explanation. If no. they can't figure it out, just Dose. be like, have fun with that one. Exactly. Because they will be sitting around there like, what? What happened? It will it will bother them for the rest of their life. <laughs> just give them a complex. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I personally think it's dead. And it makes me sad because, like, I'm raising a son and I am mm-hmm. always on him. And I see him doing some of these pieces, like, He's like, Nami can take out the trash. And my husband even is like, Nami can take out. I'm just like, first off, let me tell you about wiener work. <laughs> right, exactly. So, There's split. Oh, well, I am like, okay, so, you know, I'm very progressive mm-hmm. in a lot of things. But I am also married. Um, and, frankly, I'm a diva. So, <laughs> I really don't want to do anything. I think right. everything should be done for me. That's yeah. kind of my own personal philosophy. But I am a true believer of, like, w- there are certain roles in the household that, mm-hmm. you know, men should play and women should play. Mm-hmm. Within reason. Um, if, you know, you are working full time um, and your spouse isn't, then your spouse, and it doesn't matter which spouse, right. should be able to, like handle some of the household chores exactly so that being said if you both work for full time you split them um Mm. but there are certain chores that 
as a woman, I just don't want to do. Trash is one of them. Mm -hmm. If the trash is full and there is an able-bodied penis in my house, (laughs) that able-bodied penis will be taken out that trash. Okay? Legit. Like, just like I'm not going to look at them when it's cookie Christmas cookie time and say, oh, able-bodied penis, it's time for you to come and frost cookies. <laughs> no, I'm going to say to my girls, now, if the able-bodied penis wants to frost cookies, by all means, you right. can come and frost cookies. If, you know, the children in my house that have vaginas want to take out the trash, I'm not going to ever stop someone from, ki- like, cleaning. Right. Please don't get it twisted. Yeah. If a random person comes in and wants to clean my house... By all means, I will give you my (laughs) address. I'm not paying you, but if you want to, and don't clean it out. Like, I need to be very specific. Like, don't steal my shit, but if you want to clean it up, that would be great. But, yeah, I'm, like, there's certain things. So, wiener work had to be a big discussion when Nate was gone because Uh it wasn't being done. Um, I mowed the yard three times. No, that's not how often my grass grew, by the way. That's how many times I attempted it (laughs) while looking like a jackass um, before I got pissed off and decided, you know what? I don't give a damn. I'll pay somebody to do this. It was hot. Mm. I couldn't figure out how to put this stupid thing, like the thing that catches. See, I don't even know the name of the thing that catches the grass back on the mower. So there was grass flying in my face, which I fixed with duct tape. Because, you know, what doesn't fix it? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, no, we've got this image. Um, and then I, because there was grass flying everywhere, and I didn't want to, like, get it all in my hair. Right. It's 98 degrees out, so I got on Ugh. a beanie, right. a sweatshirt, <laughs> sweatpants. Now, I'd ask yeah. the, the boy in the house to go pick up the dog shit. <laughs> I assumed that he was not blind because I have an English Mastiff. Uh, which right. is the largest dog besides a Tibetan Mastiff that mm. you can own. So the shits are not small. They are like small volcanoes right. in your yard. <laughs> Why did I slip in dog shit <laughs> that he had missed apparently? Not once, but twice. <laughs> so I was pretty pissed over that. It's hotter than balls out. Grass is flying in my face. Mm. There's bugs. <laughs> and I've got to move this giant ass trampoline back and forth across the yard. Mm. So I'm swearing like a sailor out there. I'm sure whoever is watching this from the window. And by the way, my backyard is like a postage yard stamp. It's not very big at all. Um, I grew up mowing the yard because my parents did not believe in wiener work. They thought it was funny also to watch me act like a fool um, and get pissed off over the outdoors. I'm not an outdoorsy person, so I was angry. And right. my parents enjoy my... Which we will get into, dysfunctional family <laughs> shit like that. They enjoy yeah. me being angry. So the wiener work, I'm doing it. And so whatever, I finally do it. But then there's this large, like six and a half foot tall, thick ass weed. Looked like a tree in the corner. Mm. So I look at it. It's like a stare down, like a Western <laughs> stare down. Because I'm like, I don't know what the hell to do with this. And at this point, I'm like, well, maybe I'll weed whack it. Okay. So I go get the weed whacker. Uh-huh. I've never used a weed whacker in my oh, life. No. So I go to put this battery in because we got a, a charger battery oh, okay. thing. Oh. Right. Except, like, where you put the battery in, like, it keeps sliding out because that's how you turn it on, too. Because I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing. So it takes me like five <laughs> minutes to, <laughs> to figure this shit out. Got my beanie, my, like, sweatshirt on. I'm done. Like, it's basically a sweatsuit. So I'm, like, dying out there. Yeah. I finally figure it out. And I guess. With a weed whacker, you're supposed to just whack the weeds, not all the other shit that's next to the weeds. <laughs> so all you hear with my weed whacker is like, because <laughs> it's like whacking everything. I didn't know that until later when someone is like, um, Rachel, you're not supposed to do all that. And I was like, oh. Okay, well, then you want to do it? And they were like, yeah, let me just help you. And I was like, yeah, good. So my goal is to act in competition. That's how you do, yes, legit. So I go over and I look at this weed and this weed whacker, and I think, Mm -hmm. there ain't no way. This thing is like two inches thick. So even I know my pansy-ass weed whacker is not going to (laughs) take this thing down. So I look back at the lawnmower, 
And I'm like, all right, well, I'm you and me. I'm just going to roll up on it. So I did, but it was in the corner. So I plow this thing down. I, I must have ran into this thing like five times. It's like me and this. I can just see you backing up. I did. Going I backed forward, it up. Well, and it's in the corner. So it's, I'm running the right. lawnmower into the damn fence. To the what? I'm, and I know, of course, I'm cussing up a storm stuff. So this thing timbers, right? And so then I'm looking at it because I'm like, well, what the hell do I do with it now? Because it's way too big for the trash can. Mm. So now it's got to be destroyed. So then I get the <laughs> weed whacker out and I just go to town on this <laughs> shit. Shit is flying everywhere. And there's like thistles on it. I mean, it's like sharp, right? But now I'm feeling really accomplished. Mm-hmm. I look at the yard. Yeah. It's it looks done. cut. Look at that. I only slipped in dog shit twice. <laughs> There's only grass all over me. I'm sweating my ass off. My eyebrows are gone, you know, because I, because of course, you know, you do. You never know who's going to come over and you got to have your eyebrows on. Legit. But now they're gone. Like one eyebrow is all melted down my face. I'm just done. So I say to my son, I say, Rory. And he's like, yeah, mom. And he opens the door. Now I'm pissed because I thought to myself, while I'm doing all this. Why the hell is he inside in the oh. air conditioning? <laughs> and so then I'm like, hey. Go get this. Go get me a black trash bag because you know the black ones are for outside because mm-hmm. they're heavier duty. I don't know why my husband bought those ones and we bought other ones for inside. So I'm like, go get the black trash bag for outside. I have to be very specific with my son because he has ADD. So I'm like, go get that one. And he's like, okay. This fool comes out with a white trash bag. <laughs> and I said, Perfect. did I not say the outside trash bags? Well, it's a trash bag, isn't it, mom? And I was like. And he starts to walk in, throws the trash bag down. And I said, I was like, get back out here. And he was like, what? And I was like, oh, I said, oh, hell no. I said, get your shoes on. And he was like, why? I said, Rory, do I have a wiener? And he was like, yeah, I mean, no. And I was like, that's right. I was like, do you have a wiener? And he was like, no, I mean, yeah. And I was like, well, this this is wiener work. And I said, and I've had enough of it. And I said, your ass is going to be out here doing this work. And he was like, okay, mom. And like, I mean, he's like scared. So then he comes out there and I'm like, pick up all these pieces of this like weed that I destroyed. Right. (laughs) Why is my little sissy son bless his heart? Like, oh, it's got thorns. Ow. And I'm like, Rory, if you don't get in there and get some calluses on your hand. I was like, that's it. I was like, I cannot. I cannot deal with you. So that being said, we are toughening Rory up. So that way he will not be a cheap man. That he will open the doors and he will do all of those things. So when I catch him not doing that, like I like stop immediately. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I grab him by his little scrawny little arm because he is still, you know, very scrawny. And I'm like, boy, (laughs) you better. And he's like, mom, it's my sister. I was like, I don't give a damn. (laughs) I was like, if it has a vagina, you treat it nicely. And he's like, this is so stupid. I was like, I never better hear you say that again. (laughs) And he's just like, ugh. But he's learning. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Because they think it's stupid until they like start liking girls. And then they start (gasps) acting that way. He did like one. And he asked her out and she put him in the front. No, I know. And he so came, young. And he was so, <laughs> so young. He was so no. upset over it, and I like had to do. And I like mm. tried to keep it together because I was like, "Well, what did she say exactly?" He was like, "Well, she said she likes you as a friend," and so you know, of course, I had to like turn because I was like, "Oh no, Just, he got put in the friend zone." I was like, "Man, he is friend zone," Whew. and so I was like, "Yeah, well, you know, there's there's other fish in the sea, yeah. dude." I was like, "You're like 11." yeah oh my god you have I was like there's plenty of time he was like yeah but I just really really like her and I was like well then you can be friends he was like yeah but like I don't want to just be I was like well first off let me talk to you about dating I was like hold on I was like hold on what what, what, wait I was like for a second it was all cute and then it got serious and then I was like hold on and then he was like well mom you know I just wanted to like write her notes and tell her I liked her and stuff I was like okay well like that better be oh. all it is <laughs> forever until forever. you move out <laughs> like you know but i mean he was trying to be sweet but yeah mm-hmm. have you ever yeah. been on a date where some like a guy just was a complete like tool bag um actually no i never went on many dates because me and theon are actually um, been booed up forever yeah we're like high school sweethearts kind of Aww. we didn't really like fuck with each other in high school though until after 
I graduated, but oh. I don't know. I dated a couple of people, but um, it wasn't really like going out shit. So I don't know. I've never experienced that. But when me and Theon go out, like I pay for some things. But he does pay for a lot of things. <laughs> like, he doesn't ever be like, yo, I ain't paying, bitch. <laughs> I've been on some dates where dudes have been like, like, I always offer to split, like, right. when I was dating. I understand um, and, and splitting. I think, like, yeah, especially in the first few dates. Yeah. And, and but then, then But I, if you're like, Psh, you pay for this, I'll get the next one. There might not be a next one, motherfucker. We happen. <laughs> and you ain't, yeah. like, expensive ass shit. And be like, fuck no, bruh. I've been on dates where dudes have actually asked me to, like, borrow money. And then that was the last <laughs> day. And I was just like... <laughs> And it's not like I ate a lot or something. Right. So then that's when I just was like, don't you worry about it. I got it. That's like like the story of the dude that was like finding women on a dating site. And he would get to the restaurant like and then forget his wallet. Well, he would order food before the woman gets (gasps) there and eat it. So he'd eat it. And then when she got there, he ordered another entree, pack it up, and bounce. He wouldn't say he's going to the bathroom or go, like, take a fucking phone call. What was his name, baby? You remember his name? He, it, like, Asshole. It was, Nick Jones. <laughs> he did it to, like, so many women. They finally caught his ass one what time. What did they do when they caught him? Beat him with a stick? I think he went to... I think he got a couple of charges. Cause like, he was what basically, is the charge? Well, because, um... He... <laughs> Oh, actually, that's maybe really probably should have done a little bit more research. I can't remember, that's but okay. I know they I did. Mean, you just thought of it. I think because he was like basically running out on the check, though. There's like some oh, kind of thing so for shysty. that. Because like the woman, he wasn't like, "Hey, you're gonna pay for this" or anything like that. Can no, you pay for like, this? He just bounced. So it's like whatever the people that like eat at restaurants yeah. and run, like the eat and run, shit. dine and dash, yeah. <laughs> What a wiener. Yeah, he would eat a whole meal before they got there, sit with them, and he ordered expensive shit. Oh, of course he did. He's like, would you like a surf and turf? No, I'll take it. What a dick. And like a whole, like they did did a whole community online to try to catch this dude and shit. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Yeah, like, he was out there trying to get that free food. I mean, well, I guess he got some. I mean, I don't know. Well, maybe he'll get free food in jail, I guess. Maybe. Hope it's yummy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's just crazy. I think guys need to work on their chivalry piece. Mm, and yeah. ladies, you should demand it. And mm-hmm. I think that that's the piece that's missing, too. Because yeah. I think guys will only get away with the behavior that you what, allow exactly. them to it's treat just like, you. Psh. Because I know, like, even my husband, like, sometimes I'll stand at a door. I will literally stand in front of a damn door that I am fully <laughs> capable of opening. And he's like, are you kidding me? And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm really not because your mama didn't raise you right, fool. So go ahead and open this door for me and your daughters and stand there and hold it open for any other woman. That, like I am constantly in a training state and do not care. Right. Like I will stand there like I like my arms don't work and don't care. Like, and he is like and I've been asking for like years. I'm like, you should come around and open my car door. And he's like, you're mm-hmm. just pushing it. You're just pushing it. So I feel that's weird. Well. Uh, listen, I, well, we I, all know that I'm like a d- I mean, we all know I'm a diva. So you know what I do? You're and right. So, I mean, I totally am. And he has not succumbed to that one. I've never won that battle. So what I like to do instead mm-hmm. to try to get him back because he doesn't always do what I tell him to do, which I mean, obviously, yeah. I'm just kind of an asshole myself. It's like he'll go, I'll get in the car real fast mm-hmm. and then he'll go around to his door. Do you lock it? Yes. And then he'll do that. I'm like, lock, 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 lock. And he's like, come on and talk. Quit playing around. And I'll do that. I mean, I do that all the time. Or like, you know, if I'm driving and mm-hmm. he's, I'll put it in reverse and then I'll try to get in. He'll try to get yes. in. He'll try to get in. Yeah. Maybe I'm, you should open his car door. And look at his reaction and be like, see, I want that reaction. No, because like, see, I'm no, Nate feel is that. the type that he would be so excited over that. Listen, <laughs> Nate thinks that he has a vagina the way he wants to be treated. 
I'm not even kidding. If Nate could get everything delivered to him and not have to do any wiener work or anything, he totally would. He think, and that's why this is why we have these power struggles because mm-hmm. I'm like, last time I checked. You don't have a vagina, right. but if you're getting one, like, <laughs> let me know because there can't be two vaginas in this house. There's like only one a- HBIC and that shit's me. Exactly. I was like, and it'll always be me. So someone's going to have to go. Back and up. since it's me, that's the HBIC. Mm, you need a box? <laughs> like, I'm like, bye boy. <laughs> like, no. We ain't exactly. Doing it. Mm-mm. I don't know. Like, I'm all for splitting and stuff like that, but that's kind of shitty if you're yeah. just like, you can pay. Or, like, that Dine and Dash dude that was just like, doses. That's <laughs> yeah, boys, we got to do better. Girls, you got to demand better. Just mm. do on to others. Be kind. Mm. Be kind. Be kind. Stop being a bunch of dicks. Like, girls family. don't really like dicks. Like, family. Like, family. <laughs> Family is the biggest bunch of dicks, Ooh. usually. Usually. It's unfortunate. You can't, like, choose your family. Dysfunctional family functions. Ugh, God. I think much just everyone. any, yeah. I think just any, uh, where your whole family's together is just dysfunctional. Like, something's gonna just tick, and you're just like, bah, 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 bah. Do you think <laughs> anyone has family functions that are not? dysfunctional like does that exist like does it because i don't know about you at mine it's a guarantee that someone's gonna start yelling (laughs) there's probably gonna be something that's burnt Mm -hmm. broken and definitely someone's gonna end up crying someone's gonna get cussed out yeah someone (laughs) usually there's gonna be doors slammed (laughs) and people are gonna say shit that they have been wanting to say for a long time that they don't regret they once don't the regret alcohol because starts they, going and then it's they like, just don't got care. your number, bitch. Correct. <laughs> they just don't care. Yeah. And they're just like, you know what? Boom. I got it. Like, right. they do not care. <laughs> yeah. I think that's why my sister didn't have uh, liquor at her wedding. Other than um, it's expensive to have liquor at your wedding. But she did have beer and wine. But um, I think that was really nice of your sister to think that piece through but i think i, I would have been pissed think that she does but uh, i don't even know it was probably the co- the cost issue more than anything but uh, uh i have a picture of my older brother uh <laughs> downing a whole pitcher of beer i was like that is so us <laughs> like, correct there's always <laughs> one so in you i think you have your stereotypical person at mm-hmm. your dysfunctional family functions so there's usually like a drunk uncle Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who's always just gonna be a mess right the drunkle so my the drunkle i guess now would be my my one of my brothers it's the drunkle um and just is a disaster (laughs) then you have like the angry mother-in-law or mother Mm -hmm. we always have one of those oh Mm -hmm. my god am i that now (gasps) oh I might be that person. <laughs> I got the three. You're the angry mom. I mean, I'll take it. I don't give a damn. I am angry and I am a mom. So whatever. I mean, I'll either fall or I might be like the pissed off sister. Mm-hmm. There's always a pissed off sister who yes. feels like wronged from like childhood. <laughs> by and everything. Got, and by everyone and everything and has got to get that shit out. I think it is always the older one too. Because I'm just pretty sure my sister. I just the craziest face at Esther because she is not the oldest and I am. I was like, I'm oh. not. I'm like, see, I'm super offended. So clearly I must be the older offended sister. Got it. That one was the one I related to more. Um, well, I mean, you guys are like, um, I think older, because older children, you're like required to do more. Yes, also, everything. It's just like, we you're did the everything first. for all of you snotty little exactly, brother and sisters that true. we had. <laughs> Yeah, we had to pave the way. We got all the shitty punishment. Exactly. The parents didn't know what they were doing, so we were the experiments. Like, yeah, yeah thank you. You're and, welcome. And then you were like, 
it's stricter because like as yes. the kids go down it's just they like don't they give gave a up damn. they were like fuck like I don't for my care. brothers they didn't get anything like my mom was like you will be in at 10 o'clock on the dot until mm-hmm. i was like basically moved out and i was like my brothers <laughs> were like she was they were like seven and she was like oh you want to stay oh yeah or you want to spend the night that's cool it's right. like what the fuck bitch i only spent the night one time right. and that was at Rhonda's house i begged the shit out of my mom i was like bitch I'm going to another woman's house. Like, we're not going to go not, out to party. Like, no, we were kind of lame in high school. We were, like, not going out to parties. I, we were not doing drugs and shit. I was like, bitch, all I'm going to go is just chill with her and her sister's ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'm like, not do anything. I was like, just, like, I begged her ass. I only slept over once. But my brothers ran wild. They slept oh, over all the time. The rules for boys and girls were just so different, too. And my yeah. mom was, like, always. So my mom would, like, ground me for for weeks <laughs> because my mouth, believe it or not. Can you believe that? Oh, my God. People leave my mouth and see get me in trouble? Because I never knew when to shut up. Nobody can even <laughs> ever believe that. But um, I she would write it on the calendar. Like, there was always this calendar. It would be, like, Rachel grounded for mouth for weeks. And it would be, like, week one. And it would just be, like, this line. <laughs> And I would be like, you know, anytime I would get grounded, I'd be like, but, and she would be like, that's it, two weeks. And now my brother (laughs) would like just destroy things. Like, I mean, he broke the video camcorder and you know, those things were expensive back in the day. Like he stole my parents' car when they went on like their vacation and like he did (laughs) terrible, terrible things. And He'd be grounded for a couple days, right. even though it would say like three weeks on there. But then mm-hmm. he would be like the biggest bugaboo in their faces. <laughs> and they would be like, just go, just, just go, just go. Leave. And I would be like, what in the hell? <laughs> like, yeah, parents are just. <sighs> but I have a bugaboo. Like, my youngest. Yeah. Oh, my. Like, she, <laughs> honestly, the other night we were eating taquitos. Oh, and you're really my into son, these. my son was um, mixing up like I do like a sour cream with like um, taco seasoning mix mm-hmm. to like dip them in or whatever. Right. And so he was making that, and apparently he wasn't making it fast enough, and he was mixing it for too long, and it was annoying <laughs> her because she is a psycho. Oh my gosh, she gets it from her dad. Uh huh. <laughs> Cough. Right. So um, <laughs> she like just lost her mind, and I was and like she oh, flings open the back patio door, and it's like. St- yelling at me and I was like listen I don't know what you're doing I was like I don't give a shit like I don't even know I was like but you need to get all that out my face now I know if it would have been my oldest I probably would have handled that far differently but with the youngest who is just annoying as hell I am just like no just go just go just go just go just go you're just annoying me exactly but yeah these dysfunction well and that's I think the role that the youngest plays and this is functional family functions. Like, they get away with everything just because they're annoying as hell. I think so, because my little brother got away with a lot oh, yeah, of shit. Oh, yeah, right. I get away. Well, I kind of, well, I don't know. Yeah, I get away with a lot of shit in my dad's eyes, because I'm the youngest out of his kids, so. So, we have one in recent memory that actually got a nickname. We can <laughs> laugh about it now. Now. But since we're coming up on it, I'll share that one. <laughs> So we call it fucksgiving because that was the year Thanksgiving went all to fuck. Um, Always to be referred to as fucksgiving that one year. So we had been in our um, home about a year and um, I've got, you know, two brothers and they both live in different states. My brother who's married was coming to visit with his kids and Mm -hmm. they hadn't seen, we hadn't seen them in a long time. Mm -hmm. And then my other brother was coming up and we hadn't seen him in a long time either. And my dad was coming down. So my parents are still married, but they have horses, (laughs) whatever. Um, And so they both can't travel at the same time because my my mom thinks no one can take care of the horses, but her or my dad, because (laughs) God forbid horses like survive at a vet or somewhere else. So whatever. So prior to this trip though, my parents had taken a trip out to see my brother um, and his wife and the kids, and mm-hmm. I guess it didn't go very well. Like, <laughs> there was some tension between my mom and my dad and uh, my brother's wife, and there were some mm. things that were said somewhere along the lines of, like, grandparents' rights, which would get anyone riled up, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> and but some of the stuff that was said to me about how they were treated, I was kind of like, all right, well, my brother and his wife are wrong. My mom was wrong. Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to play middle right. negotiator, exactly. right? Because I just want everybody to have a good time. This is at my house, you know. I don't want any fighting. Mm. So everyone gets in. Everyone starts drinking. <laughs> That's like the root of all right. problems. Right. Alcohol. <laughs> so we're all sitting around the fire pit. And um, my dad asked to talk to the three siblings together, mm-hmm. me and my two brothers. And so he asked my brother's wife to go inside for a few minutes so he could talk to all of us together. And my brother just blows a gasket. He's like, anything you say to me, you can say in front of my wife. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like thinking, well, maybe he's going to tell us like he's dying of like something. Like, you know, maybe he doesn't want to say that. Like, right. you know, so I'm like, well, maybe can she go, you know, and because she was like, it's fine, you know. And he was right. like, no. And he just is being a huge dick. Right. And so the next thing I know she decides to jump in it and just starts like yelling at my dad to which I'm like, whoa, Bia, right? I'm going to need you to calm some tits. Step all the way like, back. Like you don't like this went from like zero to 60 in like 2.3 <laughs> seconds. Like, and I was like, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. So when my dad puts his hand on my arm, he's like, it's fine. It's fine. And I was like, because you know I'll shank a hoe. Like, <laughs> like you don't get to I talk to my Freddy. family like that. Yeah. And especially in my house, right? Right. So I'm like, okay, all right. So I look at my other brother, and I'm like, let's let them talk. You and I will go inside. We'll visit with the kids, whatever. So him and I go inside, and we visit with the kids. And um, I don't know what exactly happened. But next thing I know, I hear some yelling. Mm -hmm. And it's my husband yelling at my brother. And he's like, no, no, you don't get to talk to your father like that. You're being so disrespectful, not in my house. And he was like, you know what? Get the fuck out. And I was like... Okay. So on a side note, I walk downstairs and I see my brother standing um, on the patio next to my husband. And my husband is like yelling up at him. And I say that because (laughs) this is the funniest part. So I'm drunk. My... My brother's, you know, been drinking, and my husband's been drinking, and my dad, I don't know where the hell he's at, because, of course, you know, he's the root of all this at this point, and now, of course, he's disappeared, because it's fuck's giving. Um, but my husband is, like, five six, and my brother's, like, six six. So my husband is, like, <laughs> like literally pointing up, can't, re- and I'm, like... I don't know what's happening, but I'm like, well, hold on. Maybe everyone just needs to sleep on it. Right. Which then, of course, pissed my husband off because he felt like I wasn't backing him. Mm. But then I was like, oh, so it became this huge mess. My brother and his wife and their kids leave in an Uber (laughs) to the hotel. I don't know where. And we were all supposed to take family portraits the next day. The first family photo in like 10 years of all of us together. Uh. We took the pictures. Guess who's not in the photos? Dims. They are. So <laughs> they call me later on after the photos, of course, and are like, uh, so, you know, I'd like to have a conversation. Turns out they had been trying to get flights, but flights around Thanksgiving at that time, because it was the day before, were hella expensive exactly. back to um, out of state from mm. where we are. And they ended up having to come back and we apologized <laughs> and made it work. But it still went down as the worst Thanksgiving ever. <sighs> Because everything was tense and weird and awkward. Yeah. And then we haven't done any family holidays since then. <laughs> However, I may have more to report back because my younger brother wants to do Christmas this year. Mm-hmm. Like down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's got himself Yay. a fiance. And so I'm hoping it's not a repeat of mm-hmm. what we call and- it. Fucksmas? Oh, Fucksmas? Oh, God, I hope not. So I'm not no, there could be only one fuckery. Are you, did, yeah, have you not met my family? Every time we get together, it's fuckery. It's going to be great. It's going to be nice and hot. You know what? I don't give a shit because now I'm at the age where I'm just going to punch people. I just don't give a damn. I just start swinging. I really am. I, maybe I'll do it accidentally on purpose and be mm. like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. This plate of yams hit you in the fucking face. <laughs> My bad. Yams to the face. That would be delicious. I love the yams. Well, here, are invited. All right. Comes a fucksmith. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my family has gone crazy, but and it's definitely involved alcohol. Like, I've never seen my dad and my uncle fight. 
but I did that one time and I was like, whoa. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> whoa. I don't, I don't even know because we were like in the living room area and then all of a sudden I hear my uncle and dad shouting, which has, like, I've never heard that before. I was like, what the fuck? But it was like, um, my grandma, my American grandma's funeral. Oh, so I don't do it. tensions were high and he was just like, yo, never fucking visited, which was very untrue. We visit all the time. He's right. Like, I was the only one here. Like he's just high emotions. And mm-hmm. then like he pushed my dad and I was like, the fucks? Like, and what? Then- <laughs> but my dad's just, like really level headed, like, um, which is unlike any of his kids. <laughs> We are not level-headed hmm. at all. <laughs> well, me and David are. Vicky's g- better because she's older. But we can pop off in an instant. So, like, but my dad was, like, really chill. And, like, I guess he's more he's more understanding about it. He was like, you know, yeah, our mom just died. So he's going a little crazy. He's gone a little off the edge. But he was definitely, like, drinking his ass off and... <laughs> We, like, left that night um, to go to a hotel. We didn't, like, leave, leave, but it was definitely crazy. And then another time, um, someone got slapped. Oh. And a window was broken. Damn. I think that was thanks. It was either Thanksgiving or Christmas. I can't remember. It was a fuck's mess regardless. It was. <laughs> it was a fucker because, like, my family just has no chill. <laughs> right? Right? And, like, with the alcohol, like, things that have been building up just, like, bopped. Correct. And then it was just like, well, shit's happening now. Right. And it was just a roll of fucking events. And then it was like, all right. <laughs> and now we resume the holiday? Question mark? Uh, <laughs> well, you know what I think would solve everybody's, like, dysfunctional mm. family, like, problems? Is if you basically treat it every holiday like American Gladiator. Oh so my if God, we right? <laughs> it like safe American Gladiator option. I want that Q tip shit. Yes, the Q tip. <laughs> like if you were to be able to fight your family members. Oh man. <laughs> or like In a put very on sumos, safe area. I swear to you, yeah. you know what? The next time I host some sort of F's giving <laughs> of some something, F Smith, whatever. That's no what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put that shit out there. And I'm going to say, guess what? I'm sick of all of you people and I don't like right. you very much. So my answer to this <laughs> is we're all going to just beat the shit out of each hating. other safely. Um, so go. here's some liquor. Put on the sumo <laughs> suit and watch me whip the shit out of you where I can't really physically hurt you. But I am in my head. Know that. Exactly. Know that as much as I am like trying to get my fat little sumo arms around yeah. your neck that won't go there. I'm squat. I'm doing it in my head. This is happening. So who's ready? Who I think that is, is ready. Perfect. Don't you? I love it. I know. We need to get those sumo outfits now, because I kind of want to do that. That's right. hilarious. Well, you're looking at me a little crazy. <laughs> Not you. Okay, I was like, listen, I'm tired. I've been up since 2 a.m. I can't. I don't have the energy. I'll let you win. <laughs> Balls. I'll just lay on you. I mean, at this point, you're like we'll a warm blanket. I don't get it, exactly. right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we should do like laser tag or some shit. Laser some... tag isn't physical enough. It's not physical enough. I don't know. But you know what is? You get in that? those giant like sphere balls and then like you run oh, at each yeah. other. Or you can do paintball. Like that's really now big listen. Down here. I would love to shoot someone with a paintball. Those shits hurt, Good. man. They give you what? Well, like if you don't have Perfect. the armor on, like you get I, hit in correct. a spot you so don't have the armor. So my plan is to tell them that we're using the softballs. Like the soft paintballs. <laughs> but yours are all hard. Yes. My, can you add, I wonder if you can ask for extra hard ones. I would like the extra hard ones. The extra, extra. Like actually just put BBs in them. <laughs> oh my God. See, this put is why. Put a little sand in it and just like. Correct. Like I mean, cuts you up a little bit. Oh, 
I mean, I would actually like to just shoot regular people with paintballs. Um, mm, no just joke. on the regular. I've got issues, though. That's why I, I like go to that therapy. bag thing. You know what I've really been into? Therapy? Completely off the Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, that was me. <laughs> I probably need to be. <laughs> Maybe we should go together. <laughs> I've been, like, really into road rage videos. <laughs> on what? youtube i don't Why? know i don't know like i fell into them and now i can't get back out so on a side note i was driving back today uh, um <laughs> from exactly. and i no, well, it wasn't me who had road rage ironically this right. time but i was a little annoyed because this person clearly didn't have enough space to go thought they could i drive a big ass truck mm-hmm. so what did i do with my big ass truck I just kept the gas going at the regular yeah. rate I did, right up on that ass. Yeah. And then she was like, <laughs> like acting like a like a damn crazy yeah. maniac in her seat, and I'm just like laughing because at this point I'm like, what am I gonna do? And she's like right. waving for me to try to pass her, and it's like yelling at me, and I'm like, lady. I'm not going to pass you. Right. It's, I'm like, just calm your left tit, because that's the one that you're trying to, like, hang out the d- window and yell at me with. I mean, like, she's even, like, putting her hand out the window, and it's, like, screaming Ugh. and yelling. And I'm thinking, wow. who the hell are you yelling at, bitch? You pulled out in front of me, <laughs> exactly. and they got mad that I just kept my speed the same. Listen, I didn't hit you. Right. Like, I didn't even come that far up on your ass. In fact, mm-hmm. there was an entire car length in between us. Oh, man. So at some point she's like ranting and raving for like five minutes that I literally had to put the thumbs up in the window. And I was like, just calm down. You need to calm down. Right. You're, You're doing too much. Bad. I was like, gee, I was like, and then I was like, well, she certainly ain't passing her ass. I don't know. I mean, we're out in the country. She might be, I mean, she's bad. She might be holding, crazy. right? Right. Yeah. Well, you never you know. know. And so, so I was like, let me just back up off from here. But I'm telling you, if I thought she was, I'd have ran the shit out of her. Of my truck. There you go. Because that's the type of rage I got. Guess what? Legit shit. Legit shit. And your truck would be fine. It totally would. Because I got a brush guard on it. Because she had a little little, like Stara. And I would have just blasted that shit right off the road. (laughs) Next bitch. See how well you can get your gun out when you're flipped upside down. That's why I kind of wish I had Charlie, my old Sierra Cutlass. Because that motherfucker was metal. Right? Metal. Metal, Now I got this uh, Hyundai Elantra. That shit. Man, that bitch is going to bust if I ever get into her <laughs> yeah, well, like, oh, fuck. Get, you better keep your road rage under control. Shh, right. I don't know. I, can't, I don't know. I don't know. We might need to talk about that I think, next week. I think next week's road rage. Because <laughs> I got lots of stories. Because <laughs> I am insane. I think we filled the cards for this week. I think so. We'll, we'll uh, road rage in the side pocket for next week. <laughs> We will talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.